What's going on everyone? And today we got to talk about Lord Stown Motors and a little bit how you can kind of avoid of, you know, really falling for really awful companies that are bound to go to zero. And I'm also talking in this video on why I think Lord Stown Motors is probably eventually going to go to a zero dollar company. So if you're looking to invest into Lord Stown stock, ticker symbol ride, um, after I make this video, it's already dropped 50%. I would not be surprised if it goes down, 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 all the way to zero. So, and this is a very simple video. The basis here is this is a company that what I think they've tried to do, and again, everything I say here is my opinion. It is not facts. It is just simply an opinion that I'm seeing. And I think it's good for people to do research and look at other sides and not fall up so much the hype. So Lordstown Motors, my opinion, I think they decided to try to fake it till you make it. If you look at a lot of companies right now, there's a lot of companies on the New York Stock Exchange, on the stock market, that are just getting massive, massive market caps um, and massive valuations for having like no company at all. If you look at a company like uh, QuantumScape, QS, which is fun, um, Bill Gates has been an investor, and you know they've spent years with tons of, and they have a lot of employees, they have actual research going on, and you know investing in a QuantumScape is not a you know safe investment. Now I believe QuantumScape is a legit company, and I hope they do some really good things, but there's definitely risk that they go down. So that's different. You're really investing into you know a company that's kind of pre-startup, that pre-revenue, that's totally different. Um, now. Because of companies like Tesla that have just gone like crazy, and you see companies like Neo and other electric vehicle companies that have really caught on like crazy, there's going to be some bad apples who have taken advantage of that. Um, there's a company called Nikola, which you know have got caught with that, and somehow there's not at zero yet, which is surprisingly. Um, that's why I think their intentions have actually been to fake it till you make it. You know, they're a six billion dollar company, and to my knowledge, they have zero revenue. It's actually look at this. Look at their financials. Um, you know they're losing money, and they do literally zero dollars in revenue, um, which is interesting. Why people would value this at a six billion dollar cap? So Lawrence Town Motors. Long story short, this is what they are. They are saying they are a, a truck, electric truck company. And the funny thing is, if you go into Google Trends, which is this is like r red flag number one that you can tell there's too much hype around a company. Uh, you can go into Google Trends, and you can see, you know, look at this. So there's more people searching Lordstown Motors stock than Lordstown Motors. You look at it, it's a massive difference. Um, you know, no one's really searching for Lordstown Motors. So consumers, individuals could care three, they don't care at all. No one cares about actually buying a Lordstown Motors truck. Let me tell you that. Um, if you do this, let's do Tesla compared to Tesla. Um, search from Tesla compared to Tesla. You know, it's a massive difference. Let's even do Tesla car. Let's do Tesla Model 3, okay? Like, um, so I guess there's more people searching, you know, Tesla for that. But just overall Tesla, you know, there's a lot more people searching that from that. And pretty much every single company, right? If you type in Apple, right? Versus... Apple, the ticker symbol Apple, uh, you know, you have a lot more people searching for Apple because they're an actual company. It's not people just trying to buy these stocks. So Lawrence Down Motors is the complete opposite. And another way I can tell that this company is simply what they're just trying to do is just get a lot of money um, and not really sell products. Look at this. On their homepage, they got this thing right here. We got this guy who's just like, uh, you know, Lawrence Down Motors is now trading on the NASDAQ exchange. So think about this. This is their website. This is where they are hoping to educate consumers and educate you know people, things like that, and hopefully to get demand going because they're selling products. Now, if there's a, some startup company that's like you know researching all these things where they're not selling to consumers, that's different. Like QuantumScape, right? You know, uh, QuantumScape, they're not going to really be selling to consumers. It's going to be B2B transactions and providing solid state batteries, all those things. But Tesla, when they're starting out, I doubt you they were just like, hey, we're trading on the NASDAQ now, right? They're doing this to provide legitimacy to their investors. They understand that anyone visiting the site is most likely looking to buy their stock. And here's another red, massive red flag that we got is insider activity 
with uh, the stock. So, you know, it's not illegal to do this, but for a startup company, let's look at this. So look at all these officers that are selling a lot of shares. Um, this person right here, uh, Darren Post, sold 10,000 shares even at the $27 price. He sold it about a month ago, which, wow, he seems like a great trader because <laughs> smart timing for him, right? Did he sell at the top? I think he sold almost, he almost timed that real perfectly. So the issue that you have is you have these companies that very small market caps, 2.4 billion. You have a company that is not making any revenue. Um, that doesn't have any products. No one really cares about them. You can go into Google Trends and search like Lordstown Motors, like who, you know, and you can actually, um, I have an SEO background to an extent. I know SEO quite a bit. Um, you know, they're not getting a lot of visits. You know, they're getting like 4,000 clicks of their website per month. And it seems to be that's probably like 75% just investors. So you're looking at maybe 1,000 people a month are going to their website. I have a software business that's getting more than that and it does not have a billion dollar market cap. So anyway, uh, that's a red flag. But let's go back to the insider activity. So 10,000 shares, if we look at that, let's do the math real quick. Uh, 27 times 10,000. So this person just offloaded, you're looking at you know just $270,000 and they're just offloading like crazy. Boom, 10,000 shares, 9,000 shares, 50,000 shares, 100,000 shares, two and a half million bucks, just boom, pluck like that. When, when you have a two and a half billion dollar market cap company, that's a 10th of a percent. Like that can move the company quite a lot. 150,000 shares, uh, 15,000, 75,000. You're looking, okay, so they've sold a total of 448,000 shares and nobody's buying. No insiders are buying any of this stuff, which being a startup, you think they would want to get more equity into it. But again, you know, a lot of times it's not bad. It's not always bad to see a company sell shares. You know, Jeff Bezos sells a billion dollars worth of Amazon, Amazon shares every year. He's using it for it. You know, there's purposes behind it, but Jeff Bezos was not selling, you know, 10% of his Amazon shares in the first year of him being, you know, with Amazon. So, you know, this is pretty easy red flags. I'm not saying that every single company that I like is just trying to be like, oh, you know, we, we got this going on, you know, ride with this is like a scam. Um, but something just came out, a lot of short sellers um, are following lawsuits against uh, Lower Sound Motors because they're faking EV orders. So this is kind of, this just boggles my mind. You have two and a half billion dollar market cap company um, who have literally faked orders of a company that's not even getting any sales. So, you know, who knows, this is all alleged, so it may not be accurate, and you know, maybe they do have sales, but for a thousand potential consumers visiting their website a month, um, you know, to sell a car, like, you know, a thousand people walk into a dealership, you know, and say maybe 20 people buy a car, uh, 50,000. I mean, yeah, okay, you do like a million a year. It's like nothing. Um, they didn't respond to these comments. So, anywho, I think the stock is going to go to zero. However, you are pro what, what you're going to see, because you're seeing this with Nikola right now. If you go into Google and you type in Nikola and you check out the news, you're going to see, oh, GM is trying to do this partnership. What they're really doing is they're like trying to sell doubt and trying to sell hope. So people are going to trade this in the short term. So it probably won't go to zero right away. Like there's people trading options. There's people doing all this stuff. You, can, you know, people trying to do into partnerships, all these things. What you'll probably see, like look at this, no partners, no problem. Nikola may do hydrogen stations solo. So it's, uh, you know, what will cause these companies to go to zero is I believe over time, um, which let's look at this, right? Lordstown Motors. It's gonna get to a point where these shareholders um, who have, the, they have to eventually sell. So a lot of people are not gonna see the news and be like, oh, you know, well, this is, uh, you know, they make come in demand, who knows, all these things. So it may, what, what may happen is they may have some research. They may have some type of actual data, who knows. If they have nothing, which seems like this company legit has nothing, they can go to zero. And they could go to zero. Uh, which if people wanna short the stock, I don't know. Um, that's up to you if you have some intel, you know, Kudos to that, but what you may see happening is like, 
probably a trend going down. If you look at Nikola, let's look at this. Hit its peak, and it's not zero. You know, 75% off its top is a lot. You know, then it's down even another 12%. You know, it's not zero. It still has $6 billion to lose. Um, you know, people have set price targets and things like that. People have hope. So it's just going to take more and more news um, for them to lose lawsuits, for them to get settlements where it stops. So the, issue, so the biggest risk that they could have is they could get, you know, knocked off, um, you know, the NASDAQ. They could get knocked off the stock market, which is very, you know, it's a possibility that could happen. So if you're wanting to buy into companies like this, it's just like, you know, put a dollar into it. If you really, if you really believe that Lawrence Down Motors, because you got sold on some like, you know, idea that they have, put like one dollar into it. I don't know, but it's just like, and again, don't take anything I say as advice. Um, it's just most likely this stock is most likely going to get traded in the short term uh, until you know they lose lawsuits, until they have to settle with you know regulatory uh, companies, um, or until you know they get kicked off. So anyway, that's really about it. I think this company's gonna go to zero. Something that's also interesting is there is some ties into the Workhorse Group um, and also uh, Ride, uh, Lawrence Down Motors. So do keep in mind, especially when you see hype going on. So this definitely happened in the cannabis space. Uh, to an extent, this has happened in the e-commerce space. This is definitely happening rapidly in the EV space. So whenever you see like, you know, some company that just blows up and makes whatever amount percent, you know, be cautious that, you know, there could be another company just trying to ride its coattails, which that's pretty much what all these companies are doing is they're trying to ride the coattails and literally just the hype of Tesla. If Tesla did not go from, you know, a small company to 800, $600 billion market cap, uh, this company probably would be zero. So understand that. You know, if Tesla keeps succeeding, people are like, okay, well, there's hope. This could be the next Tesla. But that's not how things work. You know, the amount of people who've tried to start Amazon or the amount of people who've tried to start all these, like, Facebook and things like that doesn't work out too well. Um, now, if they do, they could get bought out by a competitor. That's a different thing.